Good afternoon. My name is Hui Pei. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering department. I'm also the associate director of a new University of Michigan initiative called Mobility Transformation Center. So uh, in the next 10 minutes also, I'm going to give you a, a brief introduction of the scope of this uh, research center. So the center focuses on um, developing and demonstrating two key technologies. One is automated uh, vehicle technology, and second is connected vehicle technology. It's a very excited, uh, ex exciting uh, uh, field, and the uh, Department of Transportation announced on February 3rd uh, of uh, 2014 that they plan to go ahead with a requirement for uh, all the light v duty vehicles to have dedicated show range communication uh, installed perhaps by uh, 2017 or 2018 or something like that. And these radios or Wi-Fi communication capabilities are uh, in, uh, opening up a lot of potentials. Uh, many companies are trying to use uh, con connected and automated technologies to develop new features of uh, ground vehicles. And here is just a short list of some of the examples. I'm sure many of you heard about the robo taxi or, or super cruise concepts, and these are just a few examples. So why are uh, car companies and Department of Transportation interested in automated vehicle technologies? First of all, uh, more than 33,000 people were killed every year uh, uh, by motor vehicles in the United States. More than five million crashes, and uh, motor vehicle crashes are leading cause of deaths for young population of the United States. And we uh, identified the key factors, and uh, about 75 of the crashes can be attributed hu to human errors. So we know that machine, of course, can make mistakes as well, but the potential of uh, refining, improving machines uh, is always there, Why we cannot say the same for improving human performance. Um, so there are plenty of uh, technology being demonstrated today, and this is one example uh, Professor Ryan Eustace and Ed Olson demonstrated their collaboration with Ford Motor Company, and this is an example of automated vehicle technology development at the Univers University of Michigan. How about connected uh, technology? So the connected technology is really a, a variation of the Wi-Fi technology you use at home. It uses 5.9 gigahertz bandwidth dedicated by FCC, and how does it work? So when uh, cars are driving on the road, and perhaps even motorcycles, bicycles, and even pedestrians can send out information about their location, velocity, direction of travel, even emergency braking maneuvers, such that these signals can be used by other objects on the uh, transportation system to improve safety and other uh, aspects, such as energy consumption, and uh, reducing congestion. So what is MTC? Uh, Michigan Mobility Transformation Center is launched by the University of Michigan on May 14th last year, and the goal is to develop and demonstrate a mobility system that features automated and connected technologies. And right now we have three very ambitious projects. Uh, these we call three pillar projects. The first one is called Ann Arbor Connected. Uh, this is built upon the safety pilot demonstration project that has already happened on the streets of Ann Arbor uh, for over 18 months. And the second project is so-called so uh, Southeast Michigan Connected, and third is Ann Arbor Automated. And uh, this project, pillar project two and three are not yet funded, are just our visions of what we should work on to promote the te uh, technologies uh, in, in, in this field. So some of you may have participated in the safety pilot demonstration project already. So basically the concept is 19 intersections uh, on the uh, northeast quadrant of the city of Ann Arbor have been con uh, in instrumented with uh, DSRC capabilities. So if you uh, look at, for example, 
the picture on the lower right corner, this is uh, Plymouth and Green Road, you see the uh, Wi-Fi antenna uh, on the intersection. And as a matter of fact, 19 intersections uh, in the city of Emma Arbor have been instrumented, as well as a few curved sections, high, uh, freeway sites, and, and uh, other uh, uh, equipments. Uh, 2,800 vehicles were uh, recruited, and 24 of them uh, have simpler functions, and 300 of them have more complicated functions, and they, uh, the uh, 300 vehicles uses the V2V, vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, and vehicle-to-infrastructure communication to give uh, warnings to certain uh, vehicle motion uh, um, uh, incidents. And right now there are no controls, therefore we're not fundamentally changing the uh, traffic flow pattern, but the vision is that once we have better control of the uh, technologies in the future, we want to add more active safety warning and possibly control functions uh, to, uh, to improve the safety and environmental impact. And uh, the vision of the so-called Pillar 1 project is to expand to the whole city of Ann Arbor and to instrument 9,000 cars, which will represent a little bit more than 10% of the car population in the city of Ann Arbor. Project two is the Southeast Michigan Connected, in which case we want to instrument uh, interstate uh, ro roadway sections on, uh, at the Southeast Michigan area, uh, 94, 96, 275, 75, and so forth. And this picture shows many of the existing uh, ITS demonstration sites, as well as some fiber optic backhauls that already exist. And we believe that this is the area that we can easily work with the Michigan Department of Transportation and DOT to instrument 500 sites on these highways. And we plan to recruit about 20,000 corporate fleet vehicles to have uh, communication capabilities so that they can use this uh, V2V, V2I functions to test road closure, lane closure, road work, ice on the bridge, potholes ahead, those kind of uh, safety fa features, as well as possibly platooning to save fuels. Pillar three is the so-called Ann Arbor automated uh, project. We are building a so-called Michigan test facility. Uh, we want to use the facility as the first step in de developing, testing, and demonstrating automated vehicle functions in the city of Ann Arbor. So once we have uh, the uh, function completely figured out, we may be demonstrating, for example, robo uh, valley parking features in the downtown Ann Arbor to help you to maneuver in the very tightly spaced parking structures in the city of Ann Arbor. Uh, that's just one example. Uh, we have some uh, other active safety functions uh, in mind. Uh, the university regents already approved a, the design of the test facility on May 20th. This is a computer rendering, so this facility does not exist yet. And this is the uh, design of the test facility, a 30-acre facility located right uh, to the east of Amtry. And it's really between Huron Parkway and Green Road, uh, just south of the Plymouth Road. So we are working with uh, some students right now to uh, de design active uh, safety uh, testing capabilities, such as the pedestrian detection and warning devices shown on the left. Uh, and also, we are also modeling the uh, city of Ann Arbor, including the central campus. Uh, those of you who are familiar with the campus probably see that we are showing a pre-scan modeling rendering of uh, a car driving right south of Michigan League uh, next to the Hill Auditorium. So this is a very quick 10-minute uh, uh, introduction of the uh, Mobility Transformation Center research project that we're, we are working on. Right now, we don't have the research funding secured, but we are working very hard to uh, make that happen. Uh, so if you have any questions, if you are able to catch me uh, later today, I'll be very happy to answer those questions. Uh, we can certainly make the slides available. 
so next, uh, we will have uh, breakout sessions, uh, and, and there are two breakout sessions. Session one is more on the research side. It's in room 122 upstairs, and the second is first uh, robotics, RoboFast Lego robotics teams, also upstairs. So I'll give you a quick um, direction. Go out of this room, right past the registration desk, go upstairs from the stairs right across from the registration desk. When you go upstairs, make an immediate right. So it is, uh, it's, you cannot turn right immediately, but try to do that. Uh, and then you pass a few green glass panels on your right hand side. Keep going, find room 122 for uh, the research uh, session and 104 for the education session. So there will be a staff out there uh, try to help you to find the two rooms. So I'll see you in the breakout sessions.